there must be something wrong with me, Linus. Christmas is coming, but I'm not happy. I don't feel the way I'm supposed to feel, feel, feel. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here if you are brand new. My name is Olivia and I'm going to be sharing with you a day on Weight Watchers Blue Plan. I would love it if you wanted to hit the red subscribe button and join my channel. And yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, so I'm just about to have my uh, premier protein coffee this morning. I'm gonna get to work. I have a very busy day ahead of me for work. I have a lot of meetings. It's like jam-packed, meeting back to back all day. So um, that's gonna be it. Hope you don't mind me coming on here in my mismatched pajamas and hair that needs to uh, be showered and that's that. So I'm gonna uh, get to work, have my coffee in hand. See you in a little bit. So just sharing with you guys my breakfast this morning. I didn't um, show cooking it, but you saw me making the coffee. So there's my coffee and I'm just kind of hanging out, enjoying a little bit of, you know, chill time while I have my breakfast. So I'm having pea meal bacon. So I have kind of a larger piece and then a smaller piece. I, I never know. I think pea meal is like around two or three points. So I think this is three points total. And then I have the eggs for zero points. And then I have, of course, my hydro jug and I have my coffee for two points. So this is a five point breakfast. Okay guys, so this is lunch and it just is kind of like a little, again, salad bowl that I'm gonna put together. So in my lunch today, I am gonna use the remainder of my sweet kale salad. I just always have this on hand, so I'm just addicted to this lately. So zero points for that mixture, and then zero points for all the veggies that I'm gonna be putting in it. I have cucumber, green onion, carrots, tomato, I have snow peas, celery, and then I also have the sesame sticks, which are the, the ones I get at Walmart. And for, I think it's 18 grams, it's three points. So I just measured it out on my scale right here, and it's 18 grams. And then I'm also going to have um, this Asian sesame craft dressing, which for a tablespoon is two points. So I don't know that I'll use a full tablespoon, but I'll count it as two. So it's five so far between the dressing and the sesame sticks. And then I also have this leftover pork, which is four ounces. This is the center cut um, pork, um, <laughs> pork chop. So anyways, this one is three points, um, or no, sorry, four points for four ounces. So all in total, my salad I think is four, seven, so nine points total. So I'm just going to put this together and I'll show you the finished result. Okay, so here's my salad. It's actually eight points because I didn't use that much of the dressing. So it's just so delicious. This is a really good option to incorporate something different for the protein instead of chicken or you know tuna or whatever you're using. Pork is still a good option, especially if you get the lean um, center cut. It's really yummy, delicious. And yeah, this is just a nice kind of, I don't know, wintry salad. And then 
Another thing that sometimes I will do is if I have any of like butternut squash on hand or any kind of really good harvest vegetables that I can warm up, I will put those on top as well. Um, and then another really good option, if you have unsweetened applesauce, try that with your pork because it's delicious to have on the side as well. So this is my lunch and I am going to go and enjoy this. It's super yummy, delicious, and yeah, this is lunch. Okay, so we just decided to take a little trip to Ikea. We are trying to grab a few ideas for our condo. We want to replace um, like our dresser in our bedroom and just get something new. But of course, like we're just strolling around the showroom. So I just thought I would show you guys. Hopefully that's okay. I'm just trying to incorporate, you know, little things that we're doing here and there in our day as well, um, rather than only just in the kitchen. Uh, but I was obsessed with this like kitchen. I always find Ikea just has the nicest designs and like how bright is this? And even with the darker countertop, I was still surprised at how nice and bright everything was. So loving this little kitchen and backsplash. So gorgeous. And then I really liked this one again, still with the darker, like these Navy cupboards, stunning. And then it has like the white countertops and everything. So can you just see me? Hey guys, welcome to my channel. <laughs> I was just like en envisioning that as I was uh, walking around. Something about the like navy walls, like that blue and then with this gray couch just feels very like 1940s, 1950s to me. Just checking out a little, I think I'm in a bathroom here. Yes, I was in a bathroom. I always find it interesting just to see how they have things set up. So it was just fun to take a little peek. I would love a big tub like that one day. Hopefully. I'm putting it out into the universe. <laughs> so I love that comforter. They're actually going to pick it up. It's a really good price. And then we were just looking more at the beds because we do want to change out the bed frame that we have right now. I liked the height of this one and then um, we will probably need a box spring though. Because I like how high it is, you know? You need a box spring for this one. Also do like I'm just taking a look at some of the wardrobes. This one lit up when you opened it and it has the lights in the windows too. Hey guys, um, welcome to dinner time. I'm gonna be making soup tonight and taking you along. I know it's been a little bit since I've actually cooked like this with the camera in front of me and I'll have the whole chopping and everything. Uh, I, it has been a while just because this takes a really long time for me because I'm very slow at filming and you know multitasking, doing two things at once. So it just takes me a little bit of extra time and I have been so crazy busy with work lately that I haven't been able to focus on something like this as much, but I'm so excited to be um, to be filming tonight and to be sharing this with you guys. We're gonna be making soup tonight. I found it on the WW app and it's because I have things in my cupboard that hopefully I can pull this together. I am, however, missing one ingredient. Don't know how crucial it is, but we'll, you know what? We'll wait and see, we'll find out. It is the creamy potato soup and I actually found it on the WW app. So um, if that's one of my tips, if you wanna ever, you know, feel inspired for recipes or there's things that you want to look on. I use Pinterest a lot and I also use the WW recipe section on the app. I find that it's really helpful when I'm sort of stuck in a rut. I want to try something new or I searched with some of the ingredients I have. So I knew I had potatoes on hand and I actually have this leek, which is absolutely you know on its last leg. So we got to use this leek tonight. And I figured, you know what? We're just going to put it all in a, in a soup and hope for the best. So this one is uh, four points per serving, which I think is great. And I might even double it if I'm super hungry. And then it'll be eight points per serving, which is totally fine for a nice big dinner. And uh, so basically the cook time on this, prep time is 15 minutes. Cook time is 35 minutes. The whole soup, if you are doing one serving, it serves six. And that is one cup. So um, I'm just going to show you guys the overall ingredients what I have here. I have my little pot here on the stove which I'm going to use for my soup. I have an immersion blender. It's brand new. I ordered it off of Amazon and I'm really excited to put it to work tonight and make this soup. So let me show you the ingredients that I'm going to be using and I will try and I'll try and link the recipe but again if I can't link it because it's in the app 
it's in the app. It's creamy potato soup if you guys are interested. Creamy potato and leek soup if you guys are interested. Okay, let me show you the ingredients. Okay, so it does call for one leek chopped, which this one um, I got a few days ago, so it's definitely ready to be used. You need four cups of chicken stock or you know whatever stock if you have any homemade on hand. I have this no salt added Campbell's. You also need one pound of potatoes, the Yukon Gold. I'm gonna be using you know three to four. I think this will be a good amount for the soup. Usually a pound I believe is like three Yukon Golds to four, so I think I'm good with this amount. And then uh, you're gonna need salt, pepper. I'm also adding onion powder just because I feel like that will be delicious. I am also choosing to saute up an onion when I saute the leek just because I feel like it might just give added flavor uh, to the soup and then you're also going to want unsalted butter or if you're me and you don't have that on hand then we're going to go with some light basil. So this uh, is what you'll need for the soup. Seems pretty easy. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on peeling the potatoes. I need to rinse the leek really well and yeah, I'll show you how I do it. Okay, so it's very important that you wash your leeks really thoroughly and that's actually my first time cooking with them. So I'm hopefully going to do this right. You're going to kind of rip off the outer shell and then you are going to cut the bottom of the stalk like this. And then you're going to cut it lengthwise. So you wanna cut it vertically up and down so that it can sit and be rinsed in the water. So guys, I don't know. I'm hoping I'm doing this right. First time cooking with leeks. I actually think that was right down the middle. Very impressed with myself. Okay, so. Here's what the inside looks like. Um, I actually am going to cut it once more because I'm going to let it sit in this bowl for a little bit with some water, just so I can try and get out as much of the um, any of the dirt or anything that's in the leak. So, okay. So just so you guys know, I did use three leeks all together. And I'm still going to use one onion as well, just to intensify the flavor of the soup. So these are all now just kind of sitting in the water and hopefully, you know, we'll get out any of that dirt and um, make sure they're nice and clean for the soup. Okay, so here are the leeks. The onion is all chopped up and I'm going to start to get these cooking away in a minute, but I do wanna just kind of peel my potatoes and have them ready to go. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw in some basil into my pan. Pretty good amount, because I know it, it asks for like, I don't know, tables, like two tablespoons worth. So I'm just putting that in, letting that uh, melt away, and then I'm gonna be putting in my leeks and onion. This is already smelling incredible. It smells really savory and delicious. So I am going to add a little bit of the seasonings right now. And I decided also to add a half a teaspoon of celery salt. So I just put it in my little dish here. So I'm going to sprinkle in half a teaspoon of the celery salt. I'm also gonna add in just a little touch of onion powder. Just like the slightest I just like the flavor that it might add to it then I'm gonna go in with some sea salt and 
and then of course some black pepper. Okay, so at this point, I'm going to go ahead and add in one full carton of the no salt added chicken broth. They're nice and uh, sauteed. They're super soft. I might need one extra little bit because this is um, just under a liter. So I might need a little bit extra, but we'll see how this gets in. So at this point, you want to bring everything to a boil before you add in your potatoes. Okay, so it's everything has come up to a boil. I'm gonna go ahead and add in my potatoes and I'm going to reduce the heat down to low and I'm gonna let these potatoes simmer away for 20 to 25 minutes. Whatever helps the potatoes get nice and tender so they're ready to blend. Okay, so this has been simmering away now for like between 20 and 25 minutes. Look how yummy this already looks. I just tasted the broth, incredible, so yummy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my blender or my immersion blender and just kind of give this a little bit of a blend and hopefully it'll be thick enough, we'll see. Hopefully, oh God, I hope it works out. <laughs> okay, just to show you, this is the immersion blender I'm gonna be using. It's from Amazon. It was very inexpensive and hopefully this works okay. So it's just their hand blender and it looks like that. That's what I'm gonna be using. I really like the color too. It's like nice and white with the gray, so pretty sleek looking. Okay guys, so I'm done with the soup. It looks so delicious. I actually left it pretty chunky too. Like I don't know if you can see some of the leeks. There's little chunks of potato in here and I just think that kind of adds to the texture. But obviously you can blend it to be thinner um, as much as you want. But oh, I'm so excited. I am going to add some of the chives on top. I don't think I'm going to go in with the sour cream. But this is going to be so yummy. I'm just going to serve up some of it now. Okay, so I'm just going to grab my cup here. Fill up a cup worth that in my bowl and I think I'm gonna do maybe just like one and a half so there is my bowl and then on top put a little bit of the chives so I just chop them up in here and here is the finished product you guys, I'm so excited. I think I'm gonna cut up a little bit of my baguette just to have to dip it. Okay, so here is my finished product for dinner and I'm just gonna taste test this for you guys. But all together, the soup for, I, I tracked it as a cup and three quarters is seven points and this baguette is three points. So this is a 10 point meal and super yummy and delicious. So. Let me try the soup on camera for you guys. Okay, so here's my bowl of soup. I'm really excited. It smells like just a warm hug in a bowl. Like it smells amazing. It's pretty hot. And you guys, by the way, you can add extra seasonings, like whatever you think you might want in your soup. You can add a little bit more um, of the salt, the pepper, whatever you might want. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and try this. It's actually really hot. Okay. Wow. That's delicious. I have to say I'm really impressed that this came out the way it did. Wow. You know what? The only thing, hear me out, is I almost wish it was slightly thinner, like I might add a little bit more stock to it just to thin it out a little bit more, but I still want this chunky kind of texture. That's so good. Okay, well this is my dinner. I'm gonna go ahead and have this tonight. And um, yeah, I don't think I'm actually gonna have any dessert tonight, which is rare for me not to have something, like to have a little something, but it's late. It's almost nine o'clock and I know by the time I have this, finish up my water for the day, I'm almost done. So I know once I have this and I have my soup and 
the baguette like it's gonna be enough but yeah this is just gonna finish it up for me tonight and that's it for tonight's video thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it uh so much fun to cook again in front of the camera with you guys and share with you every step and just you know chat a little bit but that's gonna do it for today's video thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it if you haven't already please do remember to give this video a big thumbs up it really helps out me and it helps out my channel and then of course if you haven't already please remember to hit the red subscribe button down below join my community here over on youtube and uh, i have a ton of different weight watcher videos if you guys are interested um, and getting more inspo and ideas definitely check them out but yeah and also just if you want more day-to-day -day inspiration i am over on instagram as well at olivia frida curves over there and i post lots of different things over on instagram lots of behind the scenes of my life and things like that so you know check out my instagram if you're interested in uh, learning a little bit more about my day-to-day -day life for sure Thanks again for watching guys. I hope you're having the best day wherever you are and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.